All right, heading up the road from the Anamar parking area and toward Rainbow Falls and Beaver Meadow Falls. All right, signed in at the little trail register and uh, can head up the lake road to Rainbow Falls and take the Lost Lookout Trail over to Beaver Meadow Falls and follow that back over. Come on out. Hopefully within about four and a half hours. Hey, coming up on the bridge. Not the one we're gonna take, but this one goes and leads over to Wolf Jaw Mountains and the trail on the other side of the another river over there. Uh, you can see the river is not nowhere near as high as last week. Mountains are all clouded into summit still. Not where I'm headed today, but I was expecting to see a moose over here in these areas. Okay, coming up on top of the lake road here. Head off the uh, Indian Head, Mount Colvin, a bunch of other stuff, but right there. I'm gonna head right down here and just right down below these trees is the uh, dam and the river crossing and uh, private lake over there for now. Uh, other trails up here to the right, that's where we're going. Here's the river crossing, obviously. Doing pretty good. Hour 16 minutes, I was figuring about an hour and a half to the fall. So, pretty much right on schedule here. I'm gonna cross over this bridge. Got a snack on the other side, something to drink. You get a chance, come over here yourself. Wind coming off there. It's pretty good. It's no good bit of water running from the main river here. Hopefully, the falls are really going. Been up here a few times. I never get to all these views up here. Got my little break in for three or four minutes. Had a good drink, snack, and keep up hydration and the nutrition and all that stuff. Fueling just like a car. Right here. through here where the little creek here's cut a quick path through here. It's really pretty neat. Coming up on it right around the corner here. Climb up here, catch a view from up here, then we'll come down around there and check it out from down below. Let's 
deep right here. Tricky. It's muddy. Slippery. Not bad overall. And there's the iconic rainbow in the middle of the waterfall. Mm -hmm. I can't see it from here, but one of the other trails leads up on top of these other cliffs. And and look over and just see the top. The trail here is much better. Now we're going to check out down below. Just, just a minute. Alright, you have one awesome place. You can get up here, it's not too bad of a hike really. Come to dirt road, that's scenic. Waterfall is obviously super scenic. Definitely recommended. Go check out down below. You see your way, I'd recommend uh, Checking it out from both for six. That's pretty awesome to get misted on here. In the waterfall. Good way to start the day. Nice little breeze coming off the waterfall too. Definitely worth checking out. Be careful on these three rocks. Okay, we're back down uh, uh, Rainbow Falls, back down towards the lake. I'm gonna uh, not go back the same way I came in, but going to instead take Lost Lookout Trail, which I've never been on. Take that over to Beaver Meadow Falls. Let's see what that's like. So, we'll head this way. Which our handy dandy little sign says. And we'll check this out. Yeah, I lost lookout trail. Um, a little bit of a view from uh, the other side of. Rainbow Falls. Not the greatest view. Probably my trail's like not very much used. You can tell it's getting a little bit of foot traffic, but not very well worn. But you enough to follow. Unless there's a couple more viewpoints along the way, and we'll check those out. There's some views off through the trees toward the upper Unstable Lake there. Peaks over there still clouded in at the tops. Some so I'm not. continue on here. Okay. Here's one of our lost lookouts. One of our actual ones. Oh, this is nice. This is an awesome view. Come up 
of this trail here, you don't get this perspective of it. Very nice. Lake Peak back there, Mount Colvin. Nipple Top Mountain. Dial Mountain over there. Quite a ways up here. Didn't realize it. Yep, didn't realize how uh, I got on this trail. More elevation I uh, expected. Really neat, and uh, if you get a chance to go up this trail, uh, definitely check it out. Great perspective here. Coming up on uh, what looks like the other lookout along here. It's okay. Noon mark over there. Giants on the other side of those trees. Power of Mother Nature blowing these trees over. Yep, if you're not uh, good at following unmarked trails or figuring out which way to go, then uh, this is definitely not the trail for you. Bring somebody along who's good at that, or uh, you will uh, most likely get lost on this one. And that's why they call it the Lost Lookout Trail. I uh, got some blow down in the trail, so we do a little uh, bushwhack around some stuff and oh, look where we come out at. Wow. Nice. That's the trail sign. We're gonna hike up the Gothics real quick. A few hours. So we're gonna head back to the West River Trail and down to Beaver Meadow Falls though. I blow down everywhere. Trail went right by this big tree here. Yep. Hmm. Wow. See the trees just blowing over like that. So we have to be blown over right on the trail. <laughs> yeah, well, no big deal. All right, back on the trail. Getting there. The creek it runs down, and even if it falls right down there, so be there in no time. Yep, coming back down from uh, that lost lookout trail. Cool trail. All right, we were at Beaver Meadow Falls right down here. We'll go down this uh ladder down the trail here
Too bad. Again, I wish I would have caught this last week, but could have planned a little differently. But and if it's not full raging, it's still really awesome waterfall here. Definitely worth hiking up to. Hmm. Well, maybe make a call. You gotta hike uh, up the mountains to have a great time here. See some awesome uh, scenery and stuff. So, yeah, we're checking out. Head across the river after this and back down the road into the car now. Check back in a little bit. Walk back down the road, dirt road. So I made it. Had a great hike. Um, ten and three quarter miles. Four hours and thirteen minutes. Not bad. Great morning for it. Well, it's good to get out. So that'll be it.